Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to create a multilingual website for WordPress. Let's get started. Learn to do that, we need to add a plugin to our WordPress store. So just search in here for plugins. Let's search in here for multilingual. Then we should be able to see some search results related to that. Let's head over and then just use which ones you want to use with this right here. So it depends on you, but for me, I'll just head over and then just use this translate WordPress with three translate. So click on this install now right here. And now once you have clicked on the install now, this should be able to install this particular plug in their store. And once it's been installed just like this, just head over and click on this activate option in order to activate this particular plugin. Once it's been added, just hover it to your settings right here and then you can see the option called G Translate. Head over and click on it in order to see the settings for the G Translate or multilingual plugin that we have added to our website. From in there, you should be able to see this. So the widget will look like a floating icon or you can also make this a nice drop down flag. So let's make this like that and translate the English, which is the particular language. This will be the preview of that. You can also change up the colors, arrows, and all of these things right here. So we can just scroll down right here and ju just check the actual language you want to use for this case. So you can check all or you can also uncheck all if you want as well. So let's check all of this right here and then click on the save changes right here in order to save all the changes that we have made. Now, once the changes has been saved, let's head over right here to our site and then let's try to refresh it in order to now load the trap now that we have. So you can see it right here, it's the English icon, so click on it. And then let's try to translate this particular page into Arabic. So let's click on this right here. And then once you have done that, this will take a while to load. And as you can see, the page has now been translated into a different language and it's now a multilingual website. So that's the whole process. If you have found this video helpful, simply leave a like and subscribe because it helps me reach more people. See you soon.